Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I want to showcase Java Docs, which is a very simple feature in Java, which is used by, if not every library, but then at least most of Java libraries. And I think it is a somewhat overlooked functionality in Java that's actually quite powerful. And as the name suggests, Java Docs is a form of documenting your Java code, and you can see here a very simple example. And the main thing to note is that instead of doing like a comment, explaining this does something. We then have this, it's also a common, but a bit more complex with uh, backslash star star, and then some stars. And we could then, for example, put here, both define parameters and return types and just some simple text. And what makes this comment, Java doc, more powerful and more interesting than just doing a normal comment is that if, for example, we're in some other class, we now have created this huge hill object and we would actually like to use it in for example we'd like to print to the console the sum of these two numbers and we then use our util.add numbers we can now then highlight or hover at least inside IntelliJ and most modern IDEs and we will actually be able to see the description of the method here. So now we do not need to go into the code and look through all the information and we can actually just here directly see the functionality. And if you know something very simple, built in Java like the println, we can actually see we have the same setup, we can also see the parameters and so on. So as mentioned, Java doc is very commonly used in most just base Java and libraries to kind of, in a better way, showcase the functionality of our methods. And how we would create it is at least in IntelliJ very, very simple. So let's say we had a new public void print number method, for example, and it takes an integer a, integer number, and all it simply does is that it print our number to the console. I would now then instead of as normally just do a comment explain what it does, I would like to do a Java docs, Java, Java documentation, I would simply do a backslash, two stars, and if I then hit enter inside IntelliJ, it already pre-creates the Java doc setup and add a parameter for our number. You can then define that our number is our input number. And we could write some text saying that the input number is printed to the console. If I could spell, but you get the point. And then now, if we inside here our other class, where we have our usual class in this case containing this print number method, when we then start doing util dot print number, it then here highlights once again our input numbers print to the console and our params are going to be a number, input number. We could probably even add this an int, but run it and it works as normal. But I just in general think it's very important to document your code if needed. Very good code is going to be self-documenting, but I think for at least more complex methods, it might be important in this way to define this Java documentation, allowing some other user of that library or functionality when working in a larger team to quickly get an understanding of what the method actually does without having to look through, now this is very simple, but normally through pages and pages of code. And of course, this param and return is just some of the notations we can use. There's a few others. I think there's like an author or a throw, so if we're throwing some kind of exception, depending on some case. But otherwise, I just want to quickly showcase this Java doc functionality in Java, as I think it is something that's not overlooked, but I think it's a very important feature that most people should at least be aware of. So I hope you enjoyed this quick showcase of Java documentation. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and I wish you all a wonderful day.